Hi, my name is Danielle Rubinovitz and we just finished a smart session for Philips. We created paintings which gave us a lot of images and insight into the present situation and the 2020 situation of five categories of products. Then we came up with uh, commitments and accountability and action items already starting for next week. So this is quite a way to use both our left and right hemisphere together in such a way. So we use our right hemisphere in creativity and getting the images out. And then we're using our left hemisphere to really nailing down those items and getting our commitments. And then of course the action items as well. Um, all starting from the painting. So it's a painting that really starts uh, everything rolling and from there we move it further and we really integrate the two both hemispheres and it was a great session. Uh, today was fantastic. I'm exhausted because uh, Daniela got me to use parts of my brain I've never used before in my life to help grow our business. It's been a thoroughly worthwhile day. So today I work with a company for an art session. So the whole company came in, all different divisions, and we created a painting, which was one cohesive painting, and the assignment was to build a landscape that starts low and it ends very high, and also to be working with the seasons, so spring, summer, fall, and winter. A lot of takeaways were brought out of this, how everybody works together in day-to-day -day work. I feel a bit of uh, our agency story here because there was nothing and now there is a great uh, a great uh, team and a great work on the table and I think we, we are doing a great job together. It was really therapeutic just to be like well this is what you're doing just go with it and um, what I saw today probably is very similar to how we all are because those that I do know it was a predictable sort of response so now I feel like I know everybody a little bit better without knowing everybody so I thought that was pretty interesting too I thought it was really telling. Today I work with a business with a topic of finding their uniqueness, uncovering their uniqueness and their values so that they could use that as a competitive advantage. It was actually really a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed it and um, I really liked uh, the not thinking. Just, Of course thoughts come in and that's okay, you just let them be, but then the really to keep keep painting, keep making something, and then afterwards looking at what comes out of it. That's really powerful. We got all the words and the inspiration that came out of the painting. So we have um, a different way of looking at the paintings so that we can get the meaning behind it. The reason that we want to do that is that there's a lot of stuff happening at a subconscious level and we're able to access that through the art. What I thought was really powerful making these paintings and um, uh, afterwards uh, the information that you gain from it because I really thought that uh, it said something about us as a company and what we stand for and what we find important so the filtering of the painting just using a whole different uh, form without um, uh, talking and thinking at first and then uh, finding uh, words that come out of the paintings. Now in the end uh, this company has a whole list of words that came out from the paintings and this they're going to be using for uh, both for marketing purposes, for communication and for their strategy moving forward. And the baby steps. Right? Baby steps yeah. It's such a different way of going to something um, than the normal way, whatever normal is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So art works for your business in finding strategies, in working with teams, in communication, in, in discovering what's going on. So I look forward to speaking with you soon about bringing art to your business. Until then. <laughs>